Bob's there. here on this court, John McEnroe. The challenger, Jimmy Connors. Very much alive. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ball good. That is not good. Connors let that ball go. I don't know if he could have played it anyway, but he was a good volley. and hit routine here. Now it's a hit from McEnroe. Here comes Jimmy. He's got the position. That's it. Perfect point by both players. So Connors makes the impossible angle volley. in good position here. Will it hit the lights? No, it's in two. Oh, that ball took a bad bounce. I don't believe it. Ball skidded below his racket. John McEnroe thinks the lob hit something above. There's been no call. It's a little late to be calling that. What about when he moved when he hit that rope up there? How could you not see it? Are you watching? Funny how that works out. Here he comes. Connors is a great lad. And it's set to Jimmy Connors, and they've even the count. Two sets all. As Connors magnificently winning the fourth, 6-4. Let's watch the set point here on slow motion. Okay, Macro hits a pretty good play here, but Connors completely wrong puts him. Now than ever. That's it. 40 win. All's well in heaven. Drop shot. Jimmy's got it. Now what's Paco going to do? Oh. He's got it again. Got it again. Oh. Uh -oh. Macrono hurt his ankle there. He's had some slight ankle problems Maybe over the years. Hamstring. You never know. No, it's definitely an ankle. Dr. Smith says it's definitely an ankle. Ankle? Final please, Mr. Macrono. That's terrible. It's terrible. He's obviously got an ankle problem Final in the crowd. Please, and you know, the guy in the chair shouldn't be saying play on. He's got 30 seconds. Oh, well, he's got three minutes injury time as well. Macro puts a lot of pressure on his right ankle as he serves. He's there. that ball right in her stomach or solar plexus <laughs> <laughs> Dodge for Jimmy She's when you're stupidity all right you hear what I'm saying stupidity oh okay that was part of my injury time all right that was 20 seconds of my injury no I didn't hear what he asked him there but McEnroe's berating him for that calling it while he was injured, calling him to play on, and, and the chair umpire had only it. make it worse by saying to play on when I've actually hurt myself. It doesn't have to be continuous if I hurt myself. So oh, he doesn't okay, know the that's rules. That's right. Oh, thanks a lot. He does not know the rules. 
Mac I always go around faking. You know, I'm a real. I just quit and just you know pretend like I'm faking injuries. Just Mac to save point. is right here. Yeah. I wonder if he if he knows that this is all going out on you the air. You know that? Why'd you say anything? How did you, I thought you knew it. If you knew it, why did you say anything? You obviously uh. didn't know it. because there's so many controversial calls which created an environment by the players complaining and appealing to the chair umpire for an overrule that now every close call there is a complaint by somebody. We've been playing over three hours. You know, we're trying to pay attention. I know you're very tired. You've been doing a lot of running and everything. So just try to pay a little bit of attention. Jimmy. Got it. Sir, <laughs> Jimmy Connors and come to the net. USA Cable Network, the tennis network in America, bringing you the best match of the season. Fabulous tennis. Glad to see McEnroe really compete here. Looks like he's going to. And Connors at 40 love, triple match point. And you're going to hear a roar all the way to, the, to Wales if he wins this point. Oh. 40 love. Two sets of love, Connor's down, but he stormed back to 5-2 in the fifth. Yes. And it's over. James Scott Connors from Belleville, Illinois, has won a biggie. What a victory. Three six, two six, six three, six four, six two, two breaks in the fifth and final set. And we'll now have a ceremony and presentation.